Hey guys, it's I How To Invade Russia in 5 Easy Steps and Have A Million Russians Say That You're Cheating Here. And that's right! From the title of this video, you already know I'm, I'm trying to start a fucking civil war in the comments section. So leave a like for more Hearts of Iron 4 and let's get this shit show on the road. I guess get out your anti-EU hat and stick a middle finger up to the nearest Belgian you can see because we're gonna leave the EU and rebuild the British Empire which isn't just overdone enough as it is so we're gonna get India and other important empire parts like South Sudan so here we are back in the modern day modern not much has changed really still as a major nation in the world on the UN Security Council we don't have a national focus tree I think China has a national focus tree though, which which makes sense really. But what other world powers can you think of that would deserve a national focus tree? Sweden? Norway? Germany? No? Has Germany got a big fuck off focus tree though? Yeah, that's important. That's the most important thing mod- In fact, things have gotten so bad that uh, unfortunately in 2016, Britain still hasn't quite updated their weaponry as you can see. We've got modern tanks and stuff like that, but we are still using bolt action. Post-Cold War equipment apparently, which- I can't, can't, Look, we've got the fucking Sten. But whilst we don't have much in terms of tech, we do have a shit ton of naval ports. So we're going to go ahead and rebuild that whole navy thing that we used to have. Unfortunately, though, that does mean we need resources, which means we do have to trade with Europe and specifically the French, which oh, I'm already getting this taste in my... Uh, uh, it's a Hanukkah miracle. The mi Look, a ceasefire between uh, Putin's fake Russia, <clears throat> and Ukraine. Time to start funding the send them back posters. Yes, that's right, it's it's time. Ah uh, yes, just as I'm uh, getting round to, uh, you know, flipping to UKIF, it looks like Germany's trying to, uh, yeah. What the fuck, Merkel? Oh, hot news off the press. Germany is trying to restore trust in the system, but I don't know if you've noticed this, Merkel. How can I have trust when Spain is overrun by Chinese people. What, what does- What a surprise, UKIP is getting popularity and suddenly ISIS gets beaten by Kurdistan. Whilst we still don't have UKIP in power, we do need to prepare for them and their arrival. So we're gonna go and uh, bring back conscription, which would totally work in the 21st century in one of the laziest fucking countries in the world. <laughs> Uh, we've managed to conscript a bunch of chavs into the armed forces and guess what, I think it's time that we get started on this whole rebuilding an empire thing. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with South Africa and whilst that guy does look happy, that's about to change once the British armed forces turns up, which after my extensive conscription reforms consists of mainly football hooligans who've had a few too many to drink. So perfect, really. Ah yeah, once again, a bunch of drunk Englishmen off their tits are storming the beaches of South Africa, and all you can hear in the background is Vuvuzelas. Just gonna put this somewhere it'll be really safe and well looked after. There we go, one African country subdued. Just a few more left, really. Shouldn't take too long. Now look, UKIP, after the conquest of South Africa, is now the most popular party in the UK. Can't wait for that election. Sorry, Mugabe, but you really did have it coming. Kind of makes sense now why UKIP's gaining popularity. I am actually just bringing over more immigrants, aren't I? Now isn't this just a lovely country with a lovely political party colour? A nice pink there. Fortunately though, you are in my way, so uh, sorry about that big teeth. Oh, what's that? A queue in Saudi Arabia? I guess I must have used console. No, I didn't. The game just does this alright. Oh look, they're Islamist, but that guy's a secret communist. <laughs> God's sake, game. Here we go, the most important country and the youngest country in the world, which is also led by a guy in what looks like a cowboy hat, which is... Interesting. Might as well get North Sudan, also known as, uh, um, you, you guys always put me on this, did, 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 what's that, halfway through the video and Nigel Farage has only just turned up, well here he is guys, and you don't have to worry about me making chin jokes here, because Nigel Farage literally doesn't have a chin. He's in charge now, so he might as well start World War 3, because that's, that's what would happen if Nigel Farage was in power. Oh, finally. We finally, we've got around to it. It's time to say goodbye to Germany and their meddling ways once and for all and live our lives peacefully. And by peacefully, I mean, um, 
well, <laughs> you, you, well, you, uh, mm. start World War Three off with a bang, eh? A really big bang. Now, unfortunately, my football hooligans aren't doing too well against a country with actual units like um, tanks, uh, artillery. Just you know, anyone with anything sharp, really. Whoa, in a surprise turn of events, the Russians in this game, they've actually done, they've capitulated poor old Lithuania. It looks like I'm actually starting to make a little bit of ground here, and we're just going to go for a bit of a mad dash to Cairo, which, you know, uh, oh, oh, <laughs> how did that happen? There we go, the Suez is back in its rightful British hands. Not sure how long I'm going to be able to hold it for, though. What? What's that? Uh, Italy has actually navally invaded Egypt and helped. I, I'm, I'm. What? So as you can see, even with the amazing Italian assistance from their great army, things aren't going too well. But uh, oh, never mind. Apparently, all those nuclear bombs dropped on Egypt was enough to get them to capitulate. And uh, things are really starting to actually shape up. Look, we've got a, the old chunk of Africa we used to have. And unfortunately for UKIP, it is counterproductive because now there are a lot more immigrants coming. Oh, I actually left the, the computer for a while and, uh, well, a lot of things have happened. You've got Kosovo joining the Russian side. Uh, Montenegro, a famous Russian supporter there. Um, oh, we've got Kosovo again. Lebanon, that's a... That's a surprising turn there. I didn't really think Lebanon would really want Russian help, but hey, eh, I guess they want in on this. And uh, most importantly at the back here, we invented the internet in 2019. <laughs> yeah. Now, a lot of you seem to think that Russia is some sort of unholy beast in this game, and they're really, really hard to beat, but I'm just I'm just going to put it out there that they're really not that hard, and it, it really wouldn't be an Isar's Productions video on this mod if I didn't, you know, just nuke the shit out of Russia. Oh, it's really stop, stop cheating, please, please, please stop, stop, billion cheat. Just for good measure, we'll drop one over on the old Stalingrad as well, or as it's known as Volgograd. And it was made possible by, yes, you can see it, five strategic bombers. Come on. But whilst everyone's busy, you know, <laughs> basking in the nuclear radiation I just dropped on them, I'm going to go ahead and just conquer Africa. Dun 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 Oh shit, oh, oh, don't look at, oh, how, uh, did I left this? You see, it's that easy. Even the AI Americans are just taking over Russia. Yes, Trump. Trump is invading Russia. Meanwhile, though, we're still a bit too busy to deal with that mess. We're, we're a bit too civilized for World War Three. Instead, we're taking over Australia. Unsurprisingly, Australia's a bit of a barren shithole, and not even the Australians are even bothered about me taking them over, because it's that shit. Oh, scratch that. I'm currently getting betrayed by the Danes again. <laughs> Thankfully, Australia is actually just one air zone, so... Nukes are slightly unfair, aren't they? Probably not a good idea to nuke the country full of massive spiders, but hey, it's done now. Would you look at that? I don't even need to be a part of it and Russia's getting invaded. That's right, it's episode 14 of Let's Invade Russia, and once again, we're just gonna walk straight into Moscow. I mean, guys, it's not like it's a broken mud, I must be cheating. Oh look, I've activated my wall hack, and I can see right through the Russian troops. Oh wait, no, no, that's not right. There just aren't any Russian troops defending the border, eh? Yep, it's really this simple, and you can do it at home. You don't have to take my word for it. You two can see how shit Russia is in this mud. Just get, go ahead. You know, no one really suffered in this war, other than most of the Russians I nuked, but hey, it's over. Um, well, things are, things look, things are a bit different this time around, guys. I got all my, you know, rebuilding the Empire land and all that autism, but, uh, <clears throat> yeah, oh, 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 dear God. And we've really got quite a bit of the Empire down. There's only a few bits left. I mean, there's a few little snippets of irrelevant shitholes that aren't worth saving, like this country. And uh, Canada, of course. There's no point saving them. They're beyond repair. See, the best thing in this mod is that Donald Trump is still a friend of Russia, which you think he probably should be, considering he's annexed it. He, he best be fucking friendly with them. Just a few little outlying islands left to really get, and uh, I think we can call this done, really. 
that oh well apparently India got in charge of the uh, Russian faction and uh they've they've well we had to conquer them anyway I suppose and what's that Germany got a sniff of World War Four well God's sake Germany see I'm not even having to do anything I'm literally just dropping a bunch of nukes on India and the French are doing all the work. Uh, just, you know, playing the modern day mods, <laughs> what, what are you guys up to, no? Ah, oh, just, it's it's really simple, you just gotta, but you just gotta um, drop a few nukes and you can go just as easy as the first time we conquered it by dropping nukes on it back in, you know, the 1800s. So there you go, a really standard game as it was, uh, Nigel Farage took over half the world, uh, <laughs> And now he's flooded the UK with a bunch of new immigrants, which is probably not the ideal situation for him. But hey, well, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like for Nigel Farage's non-existent chin and leave a suggestion for what I can do next. Or, you know, just argue with each other in the comments about UKIP.